has arrived. Uh, they just finished up their meal. It looks like they're getting ready to go to their little kinks. <coughs> and one actually approaches the three of you. Yep. And he says, we have a possible lead on a Sioux in this area. And he's real quiet. He looks over at Rex Tucker, who's taking dishes back to wash them in the back. He says, have you heard of a woman named Daisy Sparks? I have. And you question her. Do you know where she lives? She's not there, but I know where she lives. That could be of help. Well, I mean, she's not sued. She is also not white. And if you talk to her, you make sure. And how do you know she's not white? What do you sued? mean by not white? <laughs> Come on. Some sort of racist? <laughs> what are you going to say? The N word now? <laughs> The N word. I mean, she's Romani. <clears throat> Do you know her, sir? No, I've heard of her. He just looks so he just rolls his eyes and looks back to you. He doesn't know her, but we're <laughs> looking for her as well. It oh. impedes with your investigation, obviously, it takes precedence, but we believe that some men are looking for her because of something she has that we do not want those men to have. What's that? I'll look at both of these guys. <laughs> just, just shaking his head. Uh, his little friends, his little two Classified. companions have left. He's talking to y'all. But his, the other two people have left. Uh, is this Pierce? Or let's the just, say, or let's just, say, oh, let's just say you've seen it before. Before the amnesia. That doesn't help me at I all. I know. <laughs> Why don't you tell me? He st- takes a step toward <laughs> That's inside your personal space a little bit. I have fun. People do it all the time. They can kill me anytime they want. Touch me. Touch me. I love that's not, well, that's not what I'm saying. Why don't, why don't you tell me what this thing is that these men are looking for? Because the less people that I know, the better. He speaks the truth. Yes, but I'm with the Bureau of Indian Affairs, and I need to know. This is no longer an Indian affair. You just said you've never met her and don't know her. You don't no, know if she's an audience. Indian or not. If she has it, and she is an Indian, then yes, it's an Indian affair. <laughs> if she's I'm not making a weird... If what? she's an Indian... Oh, you are not part of the government, and <laughs> you don't get to delegate whether something is classified or not, sir. If she's he an takes Indian. another step towards you. Now he's really in your personal space. He's about to kiss you. It's information I know, he's about to and I deem it classified. Then I could have you arrested. Please. For withholding... <laughs> please, Father, let me speak for this man. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was like, please, please arrest him. That's what I thought, so. Okay. <laughs> if she is indeed an Indian... And it would be an Indian affair. And if she does have this object that we think she might, then it is under your jurisdiction, and we will secede to you, surely. But until you have gathered that information, we would not like to spread the information about what she may have. Very well. You just tell your friend that he needs to know who he needs to talk to. He likes to talk, and sometimes he says the wrong things, but... He the wrong things a lot. I, I agree with that statement. He mm. understands the government's jurisdiction. Right, Sword. <laughs> right, Sword. <laughs> right, Sword. More than most people. More than most people. More than most people. That's satisfactory. <laughs> Fair enough. You should tell your associate to keep in line. I've worked for the government before. <laughs> no, please stop. <laughs> stop talking. What was this? Uh, uh, oh, I was, uh, I was a scientist called in uh, to investigate an artifact. What artifact was that? <laughs> uh, and if you stay classified, they will punch you in the face. Well, they told me not to talk about it to anybody. So I won't say the word <laughs> until you know Is this the same object? No. Not as far as I know. What? Yes, you do. You know. Out of character? No, it's not the same object. It's a, it that's is a lie. Wow. wow. <laughs> that's a lie. Boy. It is no. a lie. No, no, it is no, not. It is a lie. Is it one? Not the same object. Yes, it is. Not the same object. I, I, I'd, I'd have to agree. It's, it's it not. It's splitting hair. It's splitting hair. It's, it's not that trumpet. It's another trumpet. Yeah, yeah. No. That's still a lie. It's still straight. <laughs> okay. 
So he just looks you over for what feels like a very long time. <laughs> and then he looks at you, and there's like disappointment in his face. <laughs> He's like, he just kind of shakes his head, and he just says, "Good night, Clayton." And he walks, or "Good night," and he just walks. Oh, so he does know that they're We've already revealed that. Yeah. He's talked about. It. I mean, you gave him his name. He knows his name. Yeah. He know hug me like Daddy did. <laughs> he does right. sternly. All right, it's disappointing. It's like seven. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys want to do anything else this night, or just crash and try to get definitely have a, Definitely have a Will watch. Will they let us sleep? Are they going to kill us on our sleep? Yeah, they don't have a watch. No, they'll never do that, kind of. You heard him, guys. Go to sleep. <laughs> you can keep a watch if you want. You're always <laughs> None of you got much sleep last night, and you got up early this morning. So, yes, but you could keep watches through the night and stay at Rex's. He's not charging you for some reason. Maybe it's all the damn Maybe it's money. All the, all the money freaking, all, yeah, all the tips. He's got over two dollars from Deloitte today for a two cent meal. So, um, yeah. You know what? Here's a hundred times more as a tip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. The night passes uneventfully. Woo! Let's see what the day brings. Woo! It's really raining hard when you all wake up the next morning. Uh, it is pouring on Friday. Oh my God! Why? Wow. July twenty first, eighteen seventy six. It always rains in this show. Um, yeah, pouring, pouring, pouring. So, you guys have breakfast. What do you want to do? Anything? Eat breakfast. Yeah, yeah, I want to eat breakfast too. Yeah, yeah, you've eaten breakfast. Nice, we did it. Nice. <laughs> Good job. I know we did. Yeah, it. No one died. Good. <laughs> Here's my list. Okay. No one was poisoned. Okay, so, what do you guys want to do? I told you guys. Uh-oh. Everything Paul is telling me. Mad. <laughs> I mean, it's fine if positive, we can just play. Know. Yeah, you two, you guys roleplay again. Yeah. Shout out to you all now. Look at that. Oh. Yeah, beautiful. Wow, we. So today, I guess. That's some dick sucking this boy. <laughs> Not roleplay. Mm-hmm. Roleplay. Mm-hmm. We should probably go, uh, fix that. Fix <laughs> The door. It's out of her house, you mean? And you also locked the door, door, remember? Yeah. You kind of broke it off the hinge just about. What we need to talk about, what we're going to do when she shows up and my dad tries to just arrest her. <laughs> also, I'm looking at my hand. What kind of color scales are they? Black. Black scales. Yes. Do I notice him looking at it? Well, yeah, he got it very, like, It's just like... He's like that. Huh? I'm like, shit. In your head, you're screaming, Kyle. Maybe yeah. I, maybe I get well, a turn. What the hell? I, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait to roleplay that part out until you get back. No, yeah, I just feel like maybe I'm gonna turn into a snake person too. <laughs> she didn't have black scales. She didn't have black scales. Well, maybe I'm a cooler one. Maybe he's a dream. Maybe he's a bird. Interesting. What? Come on. Come on. What did you say? What did you say? Is that what cigarettes look like? Yes. Oh. Bella, what are you doing? You're not even coming with me. He's in a rib for your pleasure. Oh, wow. She goes for it, don't she? Yeah. She wants out. She always has to go to the bathroom. You see, you know. It's not raining. Someone can take my coat. Okay. Where are you going, Kyle? I just like getting some fresh air every now and then. It's not loud. Well, I can't do the role play until Andy's here. Oh, okay, gotcha. We got should you. probably crash and see this. Hold off. Because it's going to be... Well, let's just go over plans before we start that. You guys can leave this door open if you want something there. I mean, you can... You, you want to do it in role play, or...? Well, I mean, you can... I can tell you what I'm going to do, and you can think about your answer. Okay, okay. sure. That, that I'm going to I'm gonna ask you, uh, should a man tell another... Well, that's probably not exactly how I'm going to ask you, but I'm going to basically ask you... If if you know something bad's gonna happen to somebody, do you always tell them or something like that? Okay, no, well, that, that does require thought. Like, Damn. If you knew you if you knew your buddy only had five days left to live, do you tell him? <laughs> Sam. Or do you let him live those five days like he didn't? No. Sam. Nah, I tell him on the last day. <laughs> 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 you're like already 99% snake, so you're going to be a snake. <laughs> yeah, I knew for a while. <laughs> what were you playing earlier? Well, no, no, that way they can get their will out. Oh, okay. They, they lived in endurance long enough. I just found out. You have 10 minutes to live. <laughs> what you say Just though? so you know, you're going to be a snake soon. I know you can't write the oh, will. I'll I thought write I heard for you. Like, well, like, if you stop speaking sound, snake, you like start speaking out. human again. <laughs> No, my big thing is, uh... Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Chafing. I hope I don't turn into a snake uh, too fast so we can still do our like showdown. No, but I guess you'll be doing a showdown. Showdown. What? A showdown. It'll be a shootout. And hey, if, as long as it's a Bertelli type of fiasco where I'm not dead. <laughs> oh, oh, then we can still have the showdown. She's aggressively friendly. Okay. So oh yeah, Andy, I could do a, like a lowdown of the uh, the past thing that I wanted to tweak. So basically, I wanted to go over my dad's past, where his dad actually killed my dad because my dad couldn't make enough money. Why do you need it? You're turning into a monster. Isn't that good enough reason for him to kill you? Ah, oh, no, 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 no. no. This, <laughs> this will this will be more fun. His dad killed his dad. But what if his dad killed my dad? But then my dad killed his dad, and then his aunt said, "Whoa, I'm in on this." <laughs> and that guy's like, "What if like my dad just died of like a lame disease?" <laughs> <laughs> Loser. <laughs> no shit. Oh <laughs> fuck. I need to go to the bathroom real quick. No, but minutes. he just but, like uh, pooped himself to death. <laughs> No, because that's what we talked about. The Lloyds have mongoloid genes. Didn't we talk about that one? Uh, I think we talked about there being like some, some history between our characters. Because my, my guy couldn't make money, and people were basically... That old western thing where, oh, the water flows down river, but I'm going to dam it up, because... Fuck you. Damn wow. Yeah, so we had to so turn against the law. So wait, so my dad killed your dad? Because he became like a bandit. Okay. Basically. Okay. Because he couldn't support his family legally. Because like the rich people, people were blocking up the river. And just being dumb asses. Wow, the VR is so and then, and then, then, like, I'd be a bad guy at this point and just be like... <laughs> <laughs> Either provide for your family legally, or you live long enough to become a villain. <laughs> no, my God. I'm doing it for my family. My God, Jack West, that's the first time anyone's ever said that ever. <laughs> that should be like a quote on a t-shirt. What's a t-shirt? <laughs> What's a t-shirt? <laughs> It should just be written on a shirt for no reason. So, uh, why didn't you shoot my dad on the site in just a second? <laughs> no. Oh, well, no, because I don't know that. Because I find this out later. Okay, there we go. Yes. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh! <laughs> All right. All right, so, you yeah, shoot Jack West? Is that the plan? No, not yet. Oh, damn it. <laughs> All right, no, so what, he's looking at the scales on the back of his hand. Right, that's right. Um... And <laughs> what was did you actually like canonically say that you're like I wonder if I'm gonna turn into one of the snake people? Yeah. Did you okay. say that? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's all of the snake people are black. Hey, retreat. Hey, Jack. As long as I can still do what I need to do. If you knew your friend was gonna die at the end of the day, <laughs> do you tell him in the morning so he can live that day the the way he wanted to? That's a tough question. I feel like it pertains to this conundrum, but... <laughs> this conundrum? I don't like y'all talking about me like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're right. All right. He yeah. actually said But it always depends. Yeah. Yeah. You want to make sure that they can get what they need done. But it's always good to live until you don't... Without knowing your exact timer, so do you or know time. Say it depends on the circumstance. <laughs> Say, for instance, do they? You know, they're turning into a monster. <laughs> Say, for instance, just just a wild example. <laughs> His name is Jack West. And <laughs> oh, okay, not me, not me. Okay, not you. Anyway, anyway. All right, Sorry. that was my fault. So I just, I'll just be like. Alright. That's it. That's the that's, that's only question I have. Strange question. Hey, what? Strange question. Uh, but. <laughs> <laughs> that with uh, what we're doing today, I'd say we'd probably go back to her house. Ollie? Hmm? Ollie? Please. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. About Polly. Uh, so are you meeting her in town today and talking with her more? The door opens to the tavern, and Nurse Polly comes in. Oh, baby. 
And she looks around, she sees the two of you, and she walks over. Her eyes are drawn to your hand, almost immediately. Your left hand back, which is, because he's your left hand, right? Oh, yeah, no, uh, and I feel like I'm just doing my regular thing. No, but I mean, when you reached on the bed, it was like your left hand, wasn't it? Yes, left hand. Because you actually didn't reach for it. She looks a little uh, startled. Mm-hmm. And she mm-hmm. says, I need to talk to you, to the marshal. <coughs> Excuse me, gentlemen. Give me a contract, man. Contract. You want some of that log Uh-oh. Contract. 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 Uh-oh. Contract. 58 out of 50. Okay. Jack West is mixing himself up with some laudanum surprise. <laughs> Let's go up one the surprise is I don't know no, how much no, I put I noticed him putting the laudanum into yeah, the water. Yeah, he's right there in front of you. Yeah. And he took the laudanum before he could drink to it? Yeah. Oh, this, this could work out sense. different. I was using that. You don't need it. <laughs> My shaky <laughs> hand says otherwise. Well, I'm not going to cure that, but you need something much stronger. What do I need? Oh, I, I thought you were talking about the scale. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Well, I'm not going to help there. I'm not going to help here. You said not you can accept it. Oh, I'm going to accept it. You're just flipping it on the head. Hey, Jack. You want some laudanum? He's not giving it to you. What are you going to do? Oh, wait. So you didn't say this. I need something heavier. I, I do, I do, because I thought you were talking about your hand. Oh, it's like, no, not the scales. We'll figure out some magic hoodoo for that later. Oh, your handshakes? I mean, all of them's not going to fix that either. It's just temporary. Isn't that all you need? I mean, I mean give me the lot. Do you want to provide to your family temporarily? Ooh. That's a good question. You don't give a fuck about your family right now. You want some fucking water. <laughs> if you drink that drink bad, the whiskey yes. first. Drink the whiskey first. You're an addict. And you, have not, you need these hits again because you've got laudanum again. It's not doing it. Just keep drinking it. <laughs> For some. <laughs> it's not. Hey, doing can it. we get some of that moonshine? <laughs> moonshine ain't going to do it either. Right? <laughs> no, I know. You really want to Give shoot me. him. You want to shoot him so bad right now. Oh, yeah, for your little shot. That's not enough. It's not enough? I'm telling James Brown this. Uh, yeah, no, that's why I just do it. It's just drink it straight. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, yeah, more. no. Even no. more than that. It's pretty good, but yes. Okay. You end up having to drink Now half. you're being a doctor. You need half the bottle. Okay, yes. good. All right, so um, <laughs> uh, she says... Daisy Sparks has returned. She is home. She shouldn't be. What? There's other men looking for her other than us. Oh. Is she in danger? I, I can't say for sure, but... I, she's looking at you real carefully. Yeah, yeah, I can't say for sure that she's in danger, but I can say that I don't know what will happen if these men find her. But she should hide at your house. warn her. All right, all right. I'll tell her. And she heads for the door. Um, you guys didn't know her in this that conversation. Was it was at the other that side of the building. Um, she leaves as uh, Warren Pearson. Oh uh, They sit down at the bar this time since you guys are at their table. Uh, I'm actually going over to my table. table. Going over to what? Gabs, real quick. Gabs. Gabs. Yeah, yeah. yeah you can go over there. Um, they they get a quick breakfast, but it looks like they're on the move today. Um, he never actually told Gabs. them where they live. Yeah, they I think we knew. No, that's yeah. right. He said, but it all got kind of confuffled by. <laughs> She's just him pissing him off. Is, that actually worked out well. So, uh, what are you doing? We're gonna deal with you. You're walking to Gabs, but yeah, he's walking to Gabs. Uh, I'm gonna grab like half a bottle of Lawn. Uh, I, I, I kind of like. I'll be right back. You have the half a bottle of Lawn, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go get Jack West and take him outside. Okay. You guys are outside in the pouring rain. Yeah, that's fine. We we need to go back to. Um, I mean, Ollie. Yes. That's where. That's where Daisy's gonna be. Okay, do we head there now? Is she 
we need to make sure we don't get followed, or we gotta mm-hmm. make sure that we don't tip off where we're going. Okay. I haven't, I haven't even told Polly we're coming there, but with all this rain, it's gonna be hard to follow our tracks too. So if we move faster, that'll be better. Well, we need to head. We need to head not south initially. We need to kind of go around. That way, if we are being tracked, which way we're leaving town? We'll head west. West. Mm-hmm. And weast. <laughs> no way. We can go weast if you want. Just don't go south initially. I'll go tell, uh, Saloid where we're going. Alrighty. Tell him the stables. To the stables he goes. <laughs> I don't know how to do just <laughs> rain on it. Just rain. Yeah, it's always got thunder and lightning, so... It's just raining. It's just constantly raining. That's All right, so who's going where? You're going to Gab's. Mm-hmm. We'll deal with you first, then I'm going to jump to you two guys wherever you want. He knows, he knows where we're going. Yeah. I'm going to buy all his laudanum. Uh, what? All of it. I'll pay I don't have any laudanum. Twice the price. Oh, nice. Perfect. What? He's really confused with this conversation, obviously. You just leave after that? No, I, uh, I asked him, do you have a sink or anything? Like a place I can pour something? Uh, Spigot outside? No. You get your water. There's there's a pump yeah. out back. Yeah, there's okay, a pump right behind pump? the building. Yeah. Right. So I got out there it's and I poured like by this down to like a tenth of the bottle left of laudanum and there's still the rest of the water. And I give it oh, I give it to him and I'm like, hey, if that guy comes back and asks for more laudanum, sell him this. That man in black? Yeah. Which sell is? sell him this as, as if it's if it's the real deal. Alright. He takes it from you, yeah. yeah. You can head out. Where were, uh, I guess Jack West will deal with him next. Where are you going? Uh, I went after him. Jack West knows okay. where we're going. Did you tell, you didn't say any, tell anybody you're going to Gab's. You just no. left, right? I was like, you don't know right where he went. He just took off. Jack West, where were you going? I'll get back to the stables. stables. So you head over to the stables. Um, you get there. There's uh, one guy in there who is uh, kind of cleaning up, as usual, it looks like. Stay down. <laughs> what do you want to do there? Uh, Sad Okay, you can saddle your horse up. Where are you going? Uh, does he say that? Horses? No, I'm asking you. Oh, oh, if you're I'm just saddling up and getting ready. Oh, okay, and okay. Uh, Kyle, you go out, you look around, you're not sure where Steloid went. I'm not going to make it, like, super urgent, but I'm just going to be like, Steloid! <laughs> As you Steloid. come out of gas, you hear somebody... Oh, no, you're out back in the rain when you hear somebody calling your name. All right, I'll finish what I was doing, then I can. Yeah, you go in, you deal with Gap real quick, and you go out the front door. Um... There he comes. He's coming out of Gab's general. tell him to stop selling me love and what he got. Come here. No, no, no. I, get, I told him you can still sell you love. Jack West says we're going <laughs> west. I thought we were going <laughs> south. No. He wasn't there for the conversation. No, he either. wasn't. You weren't there for the I thought we were going back to Polly's. Yeah. You weren't there. You have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> they didn't discuss it till you after No, you left, left for Gab's. You left right after uh, the, uh, they got the... Uh, Oh, I thought we were going there from last night, even. That's fine. You can still think that, but not from this morning. You can yes. still think that. You probably shouldn't say it in the middle of the town. <laughs> Which you just did. Hey, I, I thought, thought we were going to <laughs> <laughs> Because he came out and greeted them. The two of them are standing in the pouring rain. This confuses me. You're getting soaking wet. Come on. We're going west. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> he says confused. Okay, so you go to the stables. I like that farm. Yeah. You get all of your horses set. And then I whisper information dump to him. Hey, hey these horses are going to be all these. Just keep it on the download. They're tracking us every day. They know where we're going every day. Oh, okay. We're going west tomorrow morning. Nice. Nice. And through the fields. Sure. In the rain. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That'll be fun. Oh, by the way, last night when you hooked your horses to his horse and you thought, they're just going to walk away. Mm-hmm. No, his horse was st- stock still. Uh, and ours had, like, tied Yeah, you were like, tied around to the saddle horse. Yeah. Your horse no, had to leave my horse. Fuck more. Our horse tries to get his horse to try to get my horse. Okay, um, so you're going to Polly's? Is that the plan? But, uh, round round about. about. <clears throat> okay. Um, you have a feeling Polly went to, to talk to Daisy Sparks, and so she went to her house. So um, mm-hmm. uh, you get to Polly's house, mm-hmm. and what? What's the plan? We'll saddle the horses up in her. She has a stable. She has a little stable, stable yeah. Yes. It's not real big. It'll be a little crowded for three horses. Uh, there's not any horses yeah, in there right now. And there's, there's no the carriage room. inside. She doesn't have a wagon. Oh yeah, but Polly doesn't have a wagon. Does. 
Right. Same so area. It's, same not, area. It's, not, it's not as big as a stable. It's just a small little stable. Oh, it wouldn't fit in there anyways? No. Yeah. Okay. A wagon wouldn't fit in there. But Daisy has a Daisy big has a big stable that's big enough for yep. a big ass wagon. Um, um, okay, so you're there. So uh, I'm gonna horses there. The you don't, there's no horses in there. Yeah, so you yeah. can put your horses in there. And then so I'm going to kind of I'm gonna kind of tell these two, like, hey, Holly still doesn't really trust you guys right now. So when she gets here, let me sweet talk. See if we can get a meeting with Daisy so we can kind of get this all figured out and at least tip her off about the whole John Valentine's trying to get after her and stuff like that, okay? So am I good? Yeah. Okay. So be, be careful. I'm going to look, look for any subtle movements when you mention Valentine. Okay. Um, Valentine. Yes, again, she says twin sister, but I'm pretty sure. <laughs> okay. She's just lying. She's a monster. No, I'm pretty sure you can't be in two places if, at once. And if we are sure that you she guys, is timeline is not nailed down like that. Well, I, she did say she'd never been to the ball. Right. Yeah. Which could have been a lie. Well, all, I'm saying is, all, I'm tr- all I'm saying is that you guys haven't nailed down to the minute who was with who when. It's kind of hard to do so because nobody was looking at their watch. No, that's fine. I'm just saying you don't have 100% that this, there's two different people involved. Okay. Or that they're twins. Or that there's just one. You don't have anything 100% at this point. It's actually their mom. Ah, shit, it's slime monsters are again. You, you know, shut up. You're going to give it all away? <laughs> Dude, uh, fuck slime you, monsters. Are you going to... Uh, <laughs> Hey, where are you guys waiting? Is it in the stable? I think you want to go I'm, to the house? I'm kind of telling them to wait in the stables and I'll wait on the porch. And then once right. I okay. get it Technically, all, there's no porch. <laughs> okay. It's, it's just like a solid house. house. Yeah. yeah, you can wait on the front porch. You should recognize me, I think. Um, okay. Um, Burden, you call you Okay. Uh, it's about an hour later when um, two horses approach. Okay. You hear them very distinctly, their uh, hose splattering in the mud. And, um, uh,. You guys are in the stable. Are you, like, watching outside, or are you just kind of hanging out in there? I, I feel like we wouldn't be in the stable. I feel like that's a bad idea. No, we're in the stable. We're all we're in the stable. stable. We told you guys to wait in the stable, yeah. and he's waiting on the front stoop. Like if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. You are soaked by this time. Yeah, I know. Um, uh, and two horses come up. It is. It does look like... Um, you say we're supposed to hide? Like, hide? Yeah, you guys do hear the horses coming. Yeah, I don't know if you want to hide. No, I'm just going to leave There's it three horses ball. crammed in the stable already, so... Uh, it's not like you can hide them. Yeah. Just, like just casually lean. Yeah. <laughs> We're just relaxing. Uh, they're heading for the stable. It looks like they're going to take the horses to the stable first and then go to the house. Okay. Um, I, I don't recognize who it is yet. It's Daisy. It's uh, not Daisy. It's uh, it's Polly. It's and Nurse Polly and a woman. Um, they actually both have rain gear on and white brimmed hats in order to keep the rain off their heads. But yeah, the the woman you don't recognize. She does have dark hair uh, and darkish esque. Darkish skin. Okay. Um, I'll approach them before they get to the stable. Okay. Uh, I'll kind of talk to them in the rain. All right. Um, yeah. What do you want to say? They pull up and they stop when they see you. I'm glad you were able to <laughs> get to her before uh, the men were. You didn't see anybody follow you or anything, did you? Um, no, no. I didn't see anybody. Okay. I'll have you know, my two associates are in, in the stables. I brought them here. They're here to help. I don't even trust them. I do trust them. I don't trust the one. Oh. He's changing. <coughs> he trusts me. He's changing, yes. We've, we've already seen what's happening to his hand, but until... You I've, haven't seen his leg. Okay. I feel like I would know what my leg looks like. God, you haven't is. taken off the bandages or examined your legs oh. since you were injured. Yeah. I've noted several times that it felt like the bandages were tight. And you have not done anything, so... Okay. I, as, as long as I want to notice it using the restroom, right. she, then that's... No, you zip open and you go. It's not like your dick is changing. It's, yeah, I don't I don't yeah. Wow, this is bigger than usual. <laughs> and, wow, this is scalier than usual. Until he's changed, he's, he's going to help. And if, if you can trust the other one, please, we are, we are here to help you from these men. All right. But you need to know, you need to tell me who that fourth man was in your group. There isn't. There is no fourth man. That's the thing. There, I was just back in town. There's a lot of mistrust because they know there's another man in your group who's been hiding somewhere. What does he look like? Nobody knows. They, it's not the priest, correct? No, it's not the priest. No, nobody just is annoyed with the priest. <laughs> the, uh, um, it is a man. He was wearing. He was wearing um, a dark colored hat. And but nobody has gotten really a, well a light colored hat. Nobody's really gotten a good oh, look at. Oh no! <laughs> he was, and I can't get 
collaboration on where it's they saw two him. things. They don't trust me with that. Either. Both are bad for me. I know who it is. Okay. You'd have to talk to somebody who's, who knows, but I I don't. Yes, okay. okay. Hey, we come inside. Who do you think it is? I think it's the Wanderer. Or whatever it's called. The Wanderer? It's the Drifter? The Drifter. The Drifter. Yeah. I've narrowed it down between two. It's either the Drifter or it's whatever the fuck you yeah, yeah, the, the, the Ghost or the Drifter, yeah. which could be the same. I don't remember if the Ghost had a hat or not. Um, he did, but I don't think it's... Would you, would you please permit us inside at least for, for now so we can get the information out? Okay, cool. And I'm motion you guys up. Someone broke her door open. She points the daisies far. They're after her. Somebody broke into her house. They're after her. They moved her bed. Why would they move her bed? Maybe they thought she was under it. Maybe you fast talk out. No, I don't. No way, not on. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Uh, 11 out of 5. Ooh, oh, that, that's, that's, that's worth it. Coins. That's a pile yeah, of yeah, coins. Yeah, yeah. Coins, 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 coins. Yeah, just use all yours, coins. Yeah, use all yours, coins. You just got some hidden in that little I'm bag. making like a no, giant crawl. Is that, is there no, no, just give them to me. Oh, I think that's is five. That five. Yeah, it's five. Yes, I need one more, Kyle. <coughs> one more <coughs> coin. Need one more. I don't have any more. Okay. For six, you can actually get away and you can check Fast Talk off. Oh, oh yeah. Get right. yeah, better at lines. No okay. way, right. So she believes you. She totally believes you. And I swear they head for the stables. They go to the stables. They bring their horses in. Uh, they see you two. They're still a little startled. It is pretty dark in here because it's uh-huh. overcast and it's raining. Um, they tie the horses off because there's not room enough to put them all in stalls. There's so many horses. This is very no, small. Curse you, guys have, you guys are very crowded in the stable now. Uh, and then they walk over back over to the house. And she produces a key. And she uh, lets you in the house, Kyle. Okay. Uh, are you guys following him? Yeah. Uh, she closes the door behind her and locks it. And then she immediately goes over, there's a gramophone. And she winds it up and she puts a record on. Or uh, she puts on a little, uh, one of these little... Uh, so wait, we all got in the house? Nope. Yeah, everybody's in the house. Oh, oh okay. I'm like, yeah, well, I'll, I'll come. I was oh, no, I thought it she, before. I thought she wanted it before. Oh, no, no, no. If, she, if you follow them, she's letting you in. Gotcha. But she's putting a little thing with some music on. It's one of those little uh, Edison... Not yes. It's one of those little, it's, I don't know what it's called. It's not a gramophone, but there is some music playing lightly now. Yeah. Um, as Daisy Sparks is, and, and her, uh, they're both taking off their rain gear. Uh, it's a lot. They're both soaking wet. Uh, you're really wet. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a fire, right? Oh. Uh, she will stoke the fire. There's Daisy Sparks. She is a tea and very pretty. Um, she is obviously of some mixed heritage. Uh, probably, uh, possibly native, uh, actually, uh, native heritage, <coughs> possibly white, it's hard to tell, um, dark hair, uh, she has piercing eyes, uh, she looks around, you don't think she misses much, is your guess. Um, baby Sparks, there she is, I have a character. Uh, pretty dark skin, black hair, petite, um, yeah, she's obviously a half-breed. So your idea that, oh, she's not Sue, that you told your Warren Pierce, um, may or may not be true. Right. You don't know. Right. Right. Uh, what do you want to say? What do you guys want to do? Daisy. <laughs> she walks over to you and grabs your left hand and looks at it carefully. And then she just kind of like shakes her head. Is that not something you can fix? And that's not something anyone can fix. <laughs> Got him. There's three men from the uh, Federal Bureau of Indian Affairs that are looking for you. They seem to think that you're part Sioux. And I am part Sioux. Well, that's not good because <laughs> that's what they want. Apparently, it's illegal to be Sioux. Did you do something? They said they only have questions. I haven't said anything. For you. My father was a white man. They said they have questions for you, but. Uh, their their intent does seem aggressive. I have broken no laws. I'm sure you haven't. But and I, my father was a white man. To them, I don't know how they'll handle it. Um, she she thinks about that. She's keeping thought on that. I think it's Deloitte because he's usually the one that just asks questions blatantly. <laughs> so I'm still learning about the monsters in the bomb. Oh, good. They both have no idea what you're talking about. They look confused when you even know. Okay, what barn? What is this barn? This is what Daisy Sparks is. The barn? The Aberton's barn. 
I know about Abertin. Mr. Abertin died are... in the fire. That's what I was told. Someone is keeping monsters in it. And I also believe that oh, there is still one more party member that has not been revealed yet for this household. <laughs> There's one more party member that has not been revealed yet of your people as well, and that's not me. So Lloyd, not, let the pie that's cool pie. That's before pie. you try to eat it. <laughs> hey, I wouldn't like pie. Good. Who is the fourth man in your party who's been skulking around town? Any fourth man is that's no pie. party member of ours. He is possibly stalking us because we're looking to stop other people, so he might be looking to help those other people by stopping us. What? He's we might be getting uh, followed, trailed. Well, people in town think there's another person in your party. They don't trust you because you haven't come forth with them. <laughs> we haven't come forth with what we do not have. I understand that, but the people in town mm-hmm. think that there is a fourth in your party. And there have been rumors and rumbles that you're all just vigilant <laughs> villains or bandits, just like everybody else who comes into town wanting things from the townsfolk, but they're not willing to get it. But I drink the water. She doesn't really look, she's more looking at Jack. And yeah, the yeah. Than you, actually, to be honest. I'll drink the water. Oh, buddy. Where am I so? Remember what you told me? I regret it. Yeah, that may not matter. The, so be it. Hi, hi. Hey, that hi. Was hi. In any case, what's the script? Hey! hey. 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 What are you doing? What are you doing? Some weird girl. 